let us move on to the next question that is question number 13. Let A, B, C be the vectors such that A and B are given to us. A cross C plus B vector equals 0 vector and A dot C equals 4. Now, we have to find the value of mod vector C square. Simple one. Let us start this question. It is given to us that A cross C is equal to minus B. Now, take modulus on both sides and square up. You get the result simply as mod A cross C square is equal to mod minus B square. Now, A cross C square, we can write it in terms of A dot C as well. We can write it as mod A square mod C square minus A dot C square. This point is clear because it is simply mod A square mod C square sin square theta which can be written 1 minus cos square theta giving me this result is equal to we can write here mod B square or minus B square it is not going to make any difference. Now, let us see what is A it is I minus J. So, mod A is root 2 mod B is root 3 and mod C we have to find correct. Let us write down the value here mod A is root 2 meaning it is 2 mod C square minus A dot C is 4. So, it is 16 is equal to 3 from here we get mod C square is equal to 19 by 2 as the direct result. So, let us see is it available with us in the options? Yes, it is there given as option number 2. So, let us mark and mention it. Moving on to the next question that is question number 14. For any theta in the interval pi by 4 to pi by 2, the expression 3 sin theta minus cos theta whole 4 and so on equals 4 options are given. If we look at this expression given one, we can see sin 6 theta term is there and there is no other term which can further generate 6. Looking at the options, 6 is available here in option number 3 in terms of cos. Possibly this is the correct answer, but still we need to check. Let us start with this expression. 3 sin theta minus cos theta whole square whole square. Correct. Then plus 6 sin theta plus cos theta whole square then plus 4 sin 6 theta which can be written as 1 minus cos square theta whole cube. This is clear. Now, simplifying this is equal to 3 times this is sin square theta plus cos square theta minus 2 sin theta cos theta this is 1 minus 2 sin theta cos theta. Since options are not involving multiple angles like 2 theta, 3 theta, there is no point of writing sin 2 theta. Let us continue as it is whole square plus 6. This becomes 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta. Let us write down. Next, we have 4 times 1 minus cos square theta whole cube right here plus 4 times. 1 minus 3 cos square theta plus 3 cos 4 theta minus cos 6 theta. This is clear. Moving ahead, just further simplification part, this gives you 3 times whole square again. It is 1 plus 4 sin square theta cos square theta minus 4 sin theta cos theta correct and rest of the terms we need to write as it is plus 6 1 plus 2 sin theta cos theta plus 4 times 1 minus 3 cos square theta plus 3 cos 4 theta minus cos 6 theta. Now, simplify it you have the term of sin square theta as well which has to be changed in terms of cos square theta. Let us move ahead. This is equal to 3 plus 6 plus 4 that is 13. Next 12 1 minus cos square theta into cos square theta 
next we have 12 sin theta cos theta plus and minus which are cancelled with each other next we have minus 12 cos square theta plus 12 cos 4 theta minus 12 cos square theta plus 12 cos 4 theta then moving ahead we have minus 4 cos 6 theta minus 4 cos 6 theta now we can see that the terms like 12 cos square theta cancelled out 12 cos 4 theta cancelled out finally we are left with the term this is equal to 13 minus 4 cos 6 theta as it was expected so let's see from the given options do we have this correct one yes this is option number 3 so let's mention and mark it as the correct answer i'm sure this is clear one some part from trigonometry some simplification was required conversion of sine to cos cos to sine this is all this question was talking about let's move on to the next that is question number 15 two cards are drawn successively with replacement from a well shuffled deck of 52 cards let x denote the random variable of number of aces obtained in two drawn cards then p x equals 1 plus p x equals to 2 simple one from random variables let us start this question p x equals 1 plus p x equals 2 is equal to when you talk about x equals 1 that is only one ace card is replaced now it is 4 by 52 into 48 by 52 meaning first is ace second is not or first is not second is ace this is the case p x equals 1 this is ace this is ace not this is ace not this is ace plus p x is equal to 2 means both ace both ace is meaning 4 by 52 multiplied with 4 by 52 ace ace this is clear now we can simplify it we can see that 4 is cancelled as 1 by 13 12 by 13 12 by 13 1 by 13 so let us write down 12 plus 12 plus 1 by 13 into 13 or this is equal to 25 by 169 so let us see from the given options 25 by 169 is given as option number 2 this point is clear how we solve this question of probability a simple question was there involving random variables let us move on to the next question 